Hello and welcome to Conquering Alba, where we take you to the historical places that make Scotland what it is today. Today we are visiting the residence of Scotland's uncrowned king, the Duke of Albany Robert Stuart, here at Dun Castle. Before we go into Dun Castle, it is worth pointing out that the town of Dun once had its own Roman fort. The Romans had won a decisive victory at the Battle of Mons Graphius, where after they had built a network of forts between the rivers Forth and Tay in order to isolate the highlands from the rest of Scotland. The Dun Roman fort is one such fort, and is a short walk just from the castle. The castle scene today was built by Robert Stuart, born around the year 1340. He was a younger son of Robert II and through marriage he secured the Menteef territories. His ascendancy continued when his elder brother, John Stuart, Earl of Carrick, displaced his father and later took the throne as Robert III. The name change was to avoid the connection with the earlier English appointed King John Balliol. However, Robert III suffered a debilitating injury from a horse kick and the death of a key ally James Douglas, Earl of Douglas, which led to a power vacuum that ultimately exploited by Robert Stuart. By 1386 he was appointed as Guardian of Scotland and was elevated to the Duke of Albany in 1398, one of the first two dukedoms ever granted in Scotland. The other one was granted to his nephew David, Duke of Rothsey and the two individuals became embroiled in a power struggle resulting in a three-year hiatus in Robert's guardianship of Scotland. David died in 1402 at Falkland Palace, whilst under the care of Robert Stuart. Some say of dysentery and others say of starvation. Robert was also accused of lacklustre efforts to free James Stuart, heir to the Scottish throne, who had been captured by English pirates and handed over to Henry IV of England. However, whilst Robert allegedly struggled to find the money for the release of James, there were ample funds for the construction and fitting out of Dun Castle. 
Down Castle was an enclosed castle designed to be equal to the contemporary high status fortifications such as those at Bodwell and Calvary Rock. The northeast corner was occupied by a four story tower house with a gateway into the castle running through its basement. High status accommodations occupied the upper levels. The castle's great hall was located in the west of the tower.
Dooncastle has been used as a very popular filming location. You may recognise some scenes and areas from movies and TV shows such as Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Game of Thrones, Outlander, Outlaw King, Elizabeth the Golden Age, Ivanhoe, The Bruce and many more. In the 15th century, the castle became a royal possession and was used as both a retreat and a hunting lodge for Scottish monarchs. The castle was also used as a dower house for royal widows, including Margaret Tudor. In the 16th century, the castle became the seat of the Earls of Moray, who owned it up until the 20th century. Mary Queen of Scots also stayed at Dune Castle on several occasions, taking her quarters in the rooms above the kitchens. King James VI also visited Dune Castle and paid money towards repairs and improvements at the castle. King James also imprisoned dissenters at the castle. During Oliver Cromwell's attempted occupation of Scotland, Dune Castle was the site of a skirmish between Cornwall's troops and Royalists in 1654. The castle was also the site of conflict during the Jacobite Risings, and during one rising the castle was occupied by Bonnie Prince Charlie and her Jacobite Highlanders. Unsurprisingly, the condition of Dune Castle deteriorated throughout the years of fighting and by 1800s had lost its roof. Luckily, George Stuart, 14th Earl of Moray, stepped in during the 19th century and restored the roof and interiors.
Doon Castle is a magical place to explore and every room is filled with Scottish history. You can also take an audio tour narrated by Monty Python's very own Terry Jones when you visit the castle. It is a fantastic way to get insight into the making of the famous film as well as the capers that unfolded here during filming as well as the history of Doon Castle. We hope you have enjoyed today's video here at Doon Castle. If you wish to see more of Scotland's historical places, please like and subscribe for more, and until next time, Alba Gobra.